In this video, I'd like to show you the target adjustment tool. So if we go to the tools menu up in the top left hand corner, you'll notice that the fifth one in from the left has a little target icon and it's the target adjustment tool. You can either click on it or press T on your keyboard. Now once you do that, you'll notice you've got a little crosshair that'll appear as your mouse cursor. Now this tool is actually quite special because it actually doesn't do anything new that can't already be done using the existing uh, features and tools that are already in Camera Raw. But what it does do is quite uh, special because it allows you to select a point on your image, a value on your image, and drag, or click and drag I should say, click and drag your mouse in a certain direction and actually make a correction to your image using the existing uh, features of Camera Raw. So to give you an example, if we go back up to the little icon and just hold down on it, you'll notice you have um, parametric curve, hue, saturation and luminance, and you also have grayscale mix. So let's just test out the um, parametric curve to begin with. So once you click on that, you notice that the actual tone curve panel on the right hand side here uh, shows up. So when I go and actually choose a particular value on the image itself, so for example, let's choose this sort of um, bluey gray area on the front of this, this little um, Chinese hut that's located in a little Chinese village in New Zealand as it happens, so they're actually Chinese miners. Um, so once I click on it, you'll notice that whatever this value is, uh, on the parametric curve, it's going to start adjusting. So it's actually adjusting the light value accordingly. So as I move to the right, uh, the left, I should say, it's actually um, minusing the light value and actually adding density to that area and actually looks quite awful. Um, but as I move to the right, it's beginning to actually lighten those areas, as you can see there. Now, you can not, you can, you actually can do multiple adjustments. So for example, I've made one adjustment there, but I may actually like to adjust, say the blacks, for instance. Now I'm going to click on the blacks and say I want to lighten them. Now just by dragging my mouse, you'll notice I've now lightened the blacks. So it's made further adjustments to the parametric curve. And it looks pretty awful, but it just shows you what is capable um, with this particular tool. Now I don't really like using the actual uh, parametric curve with this tool because I find it a little bit um, use, uh, not user friendly. But what I do happen to like is if I just go and hold down the Alter Option key on a Mac and hit the reset. If we go back up to the target adjustment tool here and we go, say for example, the hue. And what I do like is if I want to change the colors of these autumn uh, leaves or the foliage and say I find these a bit too yellow so I want to make them redder. I can click on that value and drag drag it to the left and it's actually making it uh, a lot um, redder and it's actually adding magenta. So as you can see here on the, the right hand side once again the panels actually changed to the HSL slash grayscale panel and it's made these adjustments to the orange and yellow uh, hue sliders. So it actually does do some quite um, unique adjustments, not only that, uh, unique adjustments that change those color values. So if I was to do this myself, I might play around with the, say for example, the yellows, but I wouldn't necessarily, um, I might not actually have changed the orange. But this has actually gone and said, well, in order to change this value, it's going to have to change the yellow and the orange in this actual adjustment. So that's really quite, I find that quite useful. Now, for instance, I'd like to actually change, say, the, the green of this grass. I can go in here now. So I want to make it greener. So now I've made that greener just by making a couple of, of slight tweaks uh, using the target adjustment tool. So that is really quite fancy. So if we go to the preview and just turn that on and off, as you can see there, it's it's quite a um, quite an improvement from the original image. So let's test out a couple others. If we go to the say saturation now, I'd like to increase the saturation of say the greens just to be um, crazy. 
and if we go in the right hand direction you can see there now the greens have gone really quite saturated and let's say I want to reduce the sort of uh, blue tone that's showing through these gray areas here so I'm just going to go to the left hand side and as you can see there it's now reduced the blue tone although the green looks <laughs> really oversaturated but I mean it just shows you what it's capable of doing um, just by making a couple of clicks and and slight drags on your actual image now there are a couple other useful things like you can also do luminance which I've showed you in a previous video but another neat one is actually the grayscale um, mix now this is where it actually converts it to grayscale and this is where you'll find it really useful for adjusting the density of different color values so say I wanted to adjust this path and actually make it darker uh, the, the grays and the path because they sort of sit very similar those colors there we'll make it a bit darker there you can see that now just by making a couple of clicks throughout the image that I can have quite a uh, dramatic effect on how the actual uh, image turns out as you can see here so it is quite funky and quite fancy to play with um, you may not find this helpful or, or usable but it is it is quite fun to play with at first I mean when I first played with it I I was sort of a bit weirded out because I didn't quite I don't quite like the way it works with the parametric curves but um, I definitely like the way that it works with the HSL slash grayscale panel because I think that really does quite an amazing job on your images itself and just sort of um, relieves some of I suppose the guesswork if you've never uh, used that panel before and you're not quite sure which colors uh, to make adjustments to in order to get the desired result that you're actually after. So that's the target adjustment tool in Camera Raw. 